We're moving into swan, which is a pigeon pose. So pay attention to the modifications you need to do for this one. So we're bringing first the right knee towards the chest. And slowly, right knee towards the right wrist. And we're working towards having the right heel towards the left wrist in this case. If you don't quite reach this, because this can be challenging for a lot of people, feel free to bring the right foot a little bit closer to the thigh here. This is where you can use your prop. So placing this blanket under your right hip so you can create some height on the right hip so your hips are aligned towards the floor so you're not collapsing into the right side like this. So finding that point, that balance, you can try to have your heel more uh, to the front so you have more of an angle here. If you're doing that, maybe point your toes a little bit, elevate your hips as much as necessary. You can also use blocks for this elevation. If you're having the heel a little bit more in, you can point the toes. Hands on the floor, accommodating the hips. Checking in with the positioning of your hips and checking in with your boundaries and your limits. Taking a big breath in. And as you breathe out, if possible, you can fold forward. So maybe you're finding your hands, your forearms parallel to the front of the mat. Maybe you are extending your arms to the front, resting the forehead onto the ground. Feel free to use a block, depending on the distance between your head and the floor. You can use, again, a block to support the forehead. Whatever feels comfortable for your body. Allow the weight of the chest to fall towards the ground, relaxing shoulders. Noticing the opening that's happening on your right hip. At the same time that you're working with the left hip also down towards the floor. Try to relax the back leg, the left leg, but keep a slight pressure of the tops of the left foot onto the floor, just so you're protecting the knee, especially if you're on a little bit harder surface. Check if you can become more and more effortless. And make sure you Adjust your body every now and then, if you need, feel free to do so. I'm 
On your next inhale, placing the hands under the shoulders, pressing yourself back, tucking the back toe, lifting the hips, and bringing the knees back to your tabletop position. Moving to the other side, left knee. Actually, before we move, just count uh, neutralizing. So back to Balasana, buttocks to your heels, forehead to the ground. Inhale to come up. Bring your pillow to the other side. Left knee towards the towards the chest and bringing it to the front. Left knee, left wrist, right heel, right wrist, or maybe bringing the heel a little bit in. You can walk forward or walk back with the other leg, positioning your prop under the left hip, noticing the differences on both sides and how you can adjust to this. Fingertips onto the floor, working with the right hip down, squaring both hips. Big breath in. As you breathe out, fold forward. Find your block, find the support of the hands. Maybe try to work with your right hip slightly up towards the head and down. Notice what happens. Check if you can relax the left leg a little bit more. Slight pressure on the tops of the right foot, protecting the knee joint. If you can touch your chest on the floor, this can also be very therapeutic. Just make sure you're not putting any strain on the back of the neck. Remember that you can also be on your forearms and you can come to this position also at any time, especially if you feel strain on the shoulders. Connecting to the breath and enjoying the silence.
Try to sink the hips a little bit more with each exhalation. Deep breaths in and out. On your next inhalation, hands under the shoulders, coming up, tucking the back toes, try to move very slowly and be hard on the body to, to move too fast. So tuck the back toes, lift the hips, bring the right, left knee to the floor, right knee to the floor, buttocks to heels and come to sit on your heels 